Okay, I'm talking about everybody. Everybody. It's a privilege for China to do business with us. It's a privilege for the European Union, who has treated us very badly, but that's coming along, to do business with us. Japan, every country, it's a privilege for them to come in and attack. I ask consent to further proceedings on the quorum call be dispensed with. Without objection. I ask unanimous consent <clears throat> the Senate engage in its routine legislative wrap-up as if in morning business during today's session of the Senate. Without objection. I ask unanimous consent the Committee on Commerce be discharged from further consideration of H.R. 4921 and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. The clerk will report. H.R. 4921, an act to require the Surface Transportation Board to implement certain recommendations of the Inspector General of the Department of Transportation. Is there objection to proceed to the measure? Without objection. I ask unanimous consent the bill be considered read a third time and passed, and the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table. Without objection. I ask unanimous consent the Senate proceed to the consideration of SRS 664 submitted earlier today. The clerk will report. Senate Resolution 664 designating October 8, 2018 as National Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Day. Is there objection to proceed to the measure? Without objection. I ask you now to send the resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, and the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Without objection. I ask you now to consent the appointment of the desk appears separately and the record as if made by the chair. Without objection. I ask unanimous consent when the Senate completes its business today to recess until 10 a.m. Tuesday, October 2nd, following the prayer and pledge. The executive journal and proceedings be approved today. The time for the two leaders will be reserved for the use later in the day, and the Senate recess tomorrow from 12.30 to 2.15 to allow for the weekly conference meetings. Further, that notwithstanding Rule 22, all time during leader time and recess count post-closure on the House message to accompany H.R. 302. Without objection. So with no further business coming before the Senate, I should stand in recess under the previous order. Senate so stands in recess until 10 a.m. tomorrow. And that finishes our live Senate coverage for the day. More debate tomorrow on the Brett Kavanaugh Supreme Court nomination, as well as work on the five-year FAA reauthorization bill. As always, live coverage of the Senate here on C-SPAN 2. Tonight, on The Communicators, David Reddell, the administrator of the National Telecommunications and Information Administration, discusses the Trump administration's spectrum policy. He's interviewed by Communications Executive Senior Editor Howard Busker.